In this video, I'll walk you through how to perform precipitation reactions in the inorganic laboratory for qualitative analysis experiments. So I'll enter through the icon at the top. You could also enter through a worksheet preset. You'll have your students select a test tube and then add any cation you want them to learn to identify. So for example, if I add silver, then they can add any anion they want. If I add sulfide, we see from the characteristic color that a precipitate has been formed, a reaction has occurred. And then they can learn how to do various tests on that to identify it and to separate out the cations and the compounds created in different ways. You can have them do with this. Is if they take a test tube, they can add multiple cations. So if they add, for example, those three cations and then they add chloride, then they've made several insoluble chlorides. Now, how would we separate those out? The students will need to learn the steps to be able to separate these to distinguish between them. We centrifuge it and then heat it and then decant off. We see based on the color on this, there is an insoluble substance at room temperature, not when it's heated. That helps them identify lead. So there are lots of tests that you can teach the students how to do methodically through these different anions to identify their cations. Once they've dominated how to distinguish between the cations, then they can create an unknown which will help them practice. So if they say, I want to have a minimum of zero, there could just be water in their tube or one cation, up to three different cations in their tube. Then they can select what cations they may want to try to distinguish between. They can create an unknown, and then they've got an unknown over here with some random combination. So we put the tube in, we'll take the heater off, and now we can add chloride once again. We can centrifuge. We can heat it, decant off. Mm, we see that same characteristic color again. So once they've run through a bunch of different tests and tried adding different anions and they feel like they know what cations they had in that initial unknown tube, then they can enter their lab book. And here they can report on what they think they have. So say they guess that they had lead and silver. They can submit and ooh, they had one green box but the other ones weren't correct so now they need to go back into the lab, test that unknown again until they're sure they know what cations they had. Then they could re-enter, report again, and say those were the cations they think they actually have this time. And now they have all green boxes. That means they guessed correctly. They've learned how to distinguish, how to separate, and how to do basic qualitative analysis experiments. We hope this is useful.